When it comes to finding and doing work you love, you've heard some of the typical sayings, like you need to find work that interests you and that you're good at, and you need to know your flaws and your strengths, but how do you actually figure out what you're good at, what you suck at, what your flaws are, and what your strengths are, in order for you to build that kind of awesome life and find work that you love that really resonates with you, that you can really get good at? Well, in this video, let's talk about this kind of three-quadrant exercise, a little journaling exercise I use to figure out what am I actually good at, what do I suck at, and what should be my strengths and like my superpowers going forward in my life. What's up guys, Alex Hine here, author of the book, Master the Day. Now look, if you're into journaling exercises to help you reflect and improve on your life, make sure you check out the free journaling email course in the description box there below. It's the very first link and it's gonna show you, I think it's like a four or five day free online course and then it's gonna bring you to learn more about my Master the Day journal and my paid online journaling course. So if you're into that, check it out in the description. So let's jump into these three exercises now. The first one is, where do I mess up? Like, what am I bad at? Where am I in flow? And where am I a beast? So we're gonna jump in and run through these exercises now. So we're talking about this know thyself exercise. The first one is gonna be where I end up messing up a lot. So for example, I had this one job where I was, it was kind of a boring internet marketing job and I had to send out the newsletters for them. And they wanted me to write this detail-oriented, detail oriented detail detailed newsletter with all these little specific action steps. And for me, I was just kind of discussing with them that the most important thing was that they sent out an interesting newsletter and that they got sales from it. So this individual that was my boss wanted this very meticulous step-by-step -step newsletter to be sent out. And I realized that I really don't care about the details. I just care that things work. So I learned through this one particular job that I am not detail-oriented. So maybe you realize, so maybe you realize you either are or are not detail oriented. Maybe you like every little thing to be right. And maybe you're just like, I need to make sure that this, this works. Make sure it works and get it out. So figure out, like when you say where I mess up, what things keep coming up in your work? Where do people keep saying you don't do this right? Or you, this is where you like, you need to work on. Pay attention to those things. The second thing is, uh, where am I in flow? So for example, I was once going on this trip and I got back from the trip and I had all this video footage and then I put it into this like vacation B-roll video and I realized that I spent like a five hour plane ride editing and putting together this, this kind of presentation, this project, this video and then I turned it into this PDF. And at the end, I was like, holy crap, I just worked for five hours and it really wasn't that bad. So this taught me that I love projects. So I love projects in the sense that there's a fixed, a finite start and a finite end. And if it's obviously a project I like, I'm most in flow when I'm doing that, as opposed to this ongoing, never ending thing where there's no benchmarks or there's no, there's no specific action steps that are beginning and ending. So I learned... Where am I in flow? Where does time go by effortlessly when I'm doing projects, specific projects that have an ending? And then the third one is, where do you end up the most helpful? So let's say you've been hanging out with friends and family and you figure out that you walk into someone's house or their desk or their computer screen, you know, the home screen, and they're extremely messy. So for me, one thing I learned was that I like cleaning up messes, like for fun. Like not, you don't need to pay me to clean up stuff. I will literally be so irritated with a messy desktop or room or whatever. If I have enough free time, I'll just naturally clean. So I like organization. That's just like a, you can call it whatever you want, but I naturally organize. And so I have this systematic way that I think. So when you think about where are you most helpful I find that I help my friends and family and clients and whoever think more systematically about their problems and so in a more organized way, either with their thinking or literally with like arranging a desk and cleaning up a place. So you'll find that when you figure out where I mess up, 
you know, maybe I should avoid detail-oriented jobs or tasks. Where am I in flow? You figure, maybe I need to find something where there's always ongoing fresh new projects. And then where do you end up your most helpful? What do you naturally end up doing for people that's kind of easy to you? For me, that thing is organization or systematizing things. So this will provide a few insights as to where you can get started. So those are three really simple exercises you can use to know more about yourself. And to me, knowing yourself means knowing, again, what are the mistakes I repeatedly make? What am I good at? What am I bad at? What am I naturally more inclined to do or to not do? How do I deal with my problems? How do I deal with frustrations? And then what's the path going forward for improving my life and finding work I love? So again, if you're into journaling stuff, check out the first link in the description box there. It's a free digital journaling course. It's an email course that you'll get one, I think, less than every couple of days. So go check that out in the description box there below. And again, you can grab my last two videos right here and right here.